Lois Lane for Daily Planet Live. Today, the Justice League confirmed that Wonder Woman, along with Batman and Superman, will lead the new generation of heroes. Wonder Woman was born on the magical island of Themyscira and is a longtime crusader for peace. She uses powers and weapons given by the Olympian gods to fight for freedom on Earth and beyond. This is Lois Lane with Daily Planet Live. The international group Checkmate has issued a global warning on the global terrorist known as Raish al Ghul. Leader of the League of Assassins, Raish has declared he will end Earth's pollution by widespread genocide. Although his previous attempts have been thwarted by Batman and the Justice League, the fight against Brainiac has spread our heroic community thin. More on this breaking story as it comes. Lois Lane for Daily Planet Live. Today, the Justice League confirmed that Wonder Woman, along with Batman and Superman, will lead the new generation of heroes. Wonder Woman was born on the magical island of Themyscira and is a longtime crusader for peace. She uses powers and weapons given by the Olympian gods to fight for freedom on Earth and beyond. This is Lois Lane with Daily Planet Live. Sightings of the notorious Black Adam of World War III infamy has Metropolis PD and the Science Police on full alert. Reportedly driven by the murder of his wife, Isis, Black Adam still seeks to punish the world that took his wife, despite numerous efforts of Captain Marvel and the Justice Society to bring him back into the heroic fold. This is Lois Lane for Daily Planet Live. Metropolis University recently received a shipment of priceless Kandaki relics, reported to have held the life essence of the ancient pharaohs. In a possibly related event, the campus is now overrun with soulless zombies. Felix Faust's involvement is still being confirmed. In the meantime, the campus is under full lockdown until the soulless victims are removed. This is Lois Lane for Daily Planet Live on the OMAC situation in Gotham. The Brother Eye satellite was designed to keep watch on Earth's most powerful entities. Its takeover by Maxwell Lord unleashed the deadly OMAC virus, forcing the satellite's destruction. But was it really destroyed? The Daily Planet has learned that a section of the satellite may still be functional deep below Gotham. Stay tuned to Daily Planet Live. Lois Lane reporting for Daily Planet Live. Look up in the sky. Is it a bird, a plane, or one of the new heroes and villains battling the Brainiac threat? One thing is sure, even with the conflict between Superman and Lex Luthor, or Wonder Woman and Circe, the only enemy they all have in common is Brainiac. Stay tuned for more as the battle against this alien invader plays out. This is Lois Lane with Daily Planet Live, and an urgent update on the Brainiac assault. Superman's Fortress of Solitude in the Arctic is under massive attack as Brainiac attempts to assimilate Superman's Kryptonian home. The fortress was created with the last technology from Superman's doomed home planet. What Brainiac hopes to gain is not yet clear, but both the Justice League and the Society have mobilized to take out the threat. Stay tuned to this breaking story on Daily Planet Live. Superman, it's Lois. I'm at the Daily Planet's Arctic Post. Perry has me on the Fortress coverage 24-7. I don't know why I'm calling. I know you'll be fine. Right? Right. Okay, so, be fine. For me? All right, back to work. Love you. Bye. This is Daily Planet Live, and I'm Lois Lane. Intergalactic Peacekeeping Force, the Green Lantern Corps, is on Earth investigating a mysterious interference with their rings. Often called the most powerful weapon in the universe, Green Lantern rings draw upon the user's own will to create green hard light constructs. The Sinestro Corps reports similar issues with their rings and accuse the Green Lanterns of sabotage. Peaceful negotiations seem unlikely. This is Lois Lane with Daily Planet Live. The fear-obsessed intergalactic criminal Sinestro is at large in Metropolis today, despite the Green Lantern Corps' campaign to bring him down. This is Lois Lane for Daily Planet Live. Gorilla Grodd is back, and he's one angry super-intelligent ape. 
after his first attacks on Metropolis were halted by his hated nemesis, the Flash, and the city's newest heroes, Grodd fled and his devolution technology was confiscated by Star Labs. Now Grodd's army is launching an all-out assault to regain Grodd's equipment and devolve humanity. This is Lois Lane with Daily Planet Live on the formation of the new Justice League Watchtower in satellite orbit above the Earth. The new and improved Watchtower was designed to provide a meeting and training ground for the new generation of heroes. Funding was provided by Wayne Enterprises, Queen Industries, and the legacy of Ted Kord. This is Lois Lane for Daily Planet Live. Lex Luthor announced today that the new metahuman medical wing at the Metropolis General Hospital, which is entirely funded by LexCore, will also be entirely staffed by LexCore as well. Despite the protests of numerous human rights groups, the wing currently remains open to metahumans seeking treatment for what Luthor terms their unique needs. This is Lois Lane with Daily Planet Live. In breaking news, Dr. Jeanette Kahn, widely reputed to be the leading expert on Brainiac's exobites, has fled LexCore for Star Labs. Dr. Kahn was unavailable for comment, but sources say she refused to participate in Lex Luthor's plans for her research. Dr. Kahn remains under close security until all issues with LexCore are resolved. Lois Lane with Daily Planet Live. The Department of Metahuman Affairs today confirmed that the Sentinels of Magic will be combating villainous magic here in Gotham and beyond. The Sentinels are led by Master Sorcerer Dr. Fate and the Justice League star magician Zatanna. Look for their magical wards and spells throughout the city. This is Lois Lane for Daily Planet Live. The Amazon Warrior for Peace, Wonder Woman, is leading the new generation of heroic magic users against the goddess Circe's forces. On Wonder Woman's side, Zatanna and the Sentinels of Magic. On Circe's, dark cults ruled by Felix Faust and Brother Blood. Will Wonder Woman's Warriors for Freedom defeat Circe's new magical order? More soon on Daily Planet Live. This is Lois Lane at Daily Planet Live. Brother Blood called today for all Metropolis citizens to, quote, fall on their knees and worship Trigon. Trigon, a vicious interdimensional demon, has attempted to invade our Earth plane before. Now the Cult of Blood believes that a Trigonic hell on Earth will arise at last. The Sentinels of Magic have mobilized to combat the threat. Looks like Brainiac has decided to up the ante. Anyone with powers is a target now, but regular humans aren't. Wonder why that is. Hope you're not here to profit from this misery. I happen to know Superman has a real problem with that. And Brainiac doesn't care if you're a villain or not. Anyone with powers is a target now. Keep your head down, Jimmy. Don't try to be a hero. If you're here to help, you need to save Superman. Luther dragged him into a teleporter and they both disappeared. Jimmy and I were trying to find someplace safe from Brainiac's drones when you arrived. And if you see Superman, tell him not to worry about us. We're survivors. Leave him alone. If you're looking to make the front page, you're too late. Superman was trying to get us all to safety when Lex teleported them both out of here. Jimmy, a good reporter knows when to leave the scene. Let's go! Not to be rude, hero, but I've got a story to cover here. Unless you're here to kidnap or mug me, move along. I've got a deadline here. 